With this video, we finalize our introductory chapter on thermodynamics by introducing the concept of extensive quantities and intensive quantities. The definition is very straightforward. An extensive quantity is that that depends on the system size, but an intensive property or quantity will not depend on the system size. All right, so let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, properties or variables that we have studied so far try to classify them uh, between extensive and intensive. So think about uh, mass, right? So the question is whether by uh, increasing the system size, mass changes or not. Perhaps the best way to think about this is to uh, just assume one container with your sample, and that could be anything, it could be a gas, it could be a solution, it could be a cell, it could be a, some tissue, whatever. And then uh, the same container replicated, right? So two containers just uh, together. And then just lift the wall separating the containers and, and track what happens to that property. If it increases, then that is an extensive uh, quantity. And if it stays the same, then it's intensive. Okay, so mass, for example. When you take those two containers, we're going to now uh, use perhaps uh, gas to, to illustrate this. They are identical. Now, when you remove the wall between the two containers to make the, the, the sample twice the size, then the mass doubles, right? So, so then mass is an extensive quantity because it depends on the system size, right? So mass would be extensive. Now, when you think about volume, the same thing would happen, right? So um, uh, the volume uh, of twice uh, your sample uh, is equal is twice the volume of half of your samples, right? So again, volume changes; it increases with system size. All right, great. And what about pressure? So again, go back to, to this uh, analogy of having two containers just, just together but separated and then making uh, a single container by lifting the wall between them. Now, if the pressure is one atmosphere and one atmosphere, when you lift the wall, the pressure is actually still one atmosphere. So notice that pressure happens to be an intensive quantity because it does not depend on the system size. Okay, so pressure would actually be uh, intensive. We can think about maybe density, right? So density, think about uh, maybe pure water, two containers of pure water, uh, together lift that wall, and the density is still going to be the same, one gram per uh, cubic centimeter, when you get the containers together, right? So density, which is this Greek letter rel, is also an intensive quantity. Now, something interesting here is that uh, when you take the ratio of two extensive quantities, you get an intensive quantity. But if you go to the definition of uh, density, right, notice that density is mass over volume. Right, notice that mass and volume are both extensive quantities, but the ratio happens to be intensive, and that is pretty common as well. Okay, the same thing happens for pressure, is force over area. Okay, uh, so let's think a little bit maybe about energy. Okay, so uh, when you think about energy, right, uh, kinetic energy, for example, let's take a, a gas container uh, that is identical with another gas container and then leave the wall. Notice that the total energy would actually increase because you have many more, uh, many more particles, twice the particles, right? So energy in itself is actually an extensive quantity. However, if we talk about average energy, Right, average energy would not depend on the system size. Right, so when you take out average energy, that would be an intensive uh, uh, quantity. Okay, so other types of, of uh, quantities here: uh, energy per mole, and this is important. Every single molar quantity will be intensive because it actually does not depend on how large the system is. You're only calculating the value per one mole. Right, so it really doesn't matter if you have half mole or seven moles or, or 20 moles. If your interest is in the quantity per mole, then that value is actually the same always, right? So it's intensive. Now, when we work in thermodynamics, it would be actually uh, very advantageous for us to always work with intensive quantities because that means that we don't have to specify the system size, right? So uh, that's, that's going to mean that when we uh, talk about things like energies, enthalpies, entropies, Gibbs energies, and so forth, 
our focus is going to be on the quantities per mole, right? So the molar Gibbs energy or the molar enthalpy or the molar internal energy and so forth, because those are intensive quantities and that circumvents uh, the idea that you have to specify the, the system size or how large your system is. Okay, so uh, that's the definition of extensive and intensive quantities. And this wraps up, wraps up our uh, first uh, block of videos for thermodynamics.